Hello everybody, Pippa Shirley, Head of Collections and Gardens from Modston Manor here. Um, and today we're bringing you another of our uh, behind the scenes diaries recording what's going on while the house is closed to the public. The gardens in fact opened this week on Wednesday, which is very exciting, but the house is still closed. And today we're in one of our more unusual spaces, I think we'll say. This is one of our stores. The room itself is called the Upper West Attics. And you'll see as I pan the camera around that we're right up in one of the turrets of the, the towers of the manor and these amazing uh, roof trusses um, and you can see the kind of the gabled pitch of the roof which is clad in slate outside. Now this is a store that for obvious reasons because it's right up on the third floor in fact of the manor we use it for objects that we don't need to access all that often. So all sorts of wonderful things are up here, particularly um, objects that, that were part of the historic furnishings and fittings and fabrics of the house. So I'm just going to walk into the adjoining space now and we're going to meet Matthew Waters, our deputy steward again, who you've seen in some of the other films that we've made. Hello, Matthew. Hello. You keep popping up in weird and wonderful places. <laughs> um, so do you want to tell us a little bit about um, what the objects are here that you look after? So in this area we tend to have slightly less precious objects for utilitarian things. So on this side we have Victorian coal scuttles and food cloches and various sort of servants objects. Um, on this uh, side we have fire buckets that would have been stationed around the house. Um, we have the internal telephones that would have been used by the servants. Um, and also a call button that would have been used by the family to call the servants from around the house. So this one has valet as an option, ladies maid as an option, depending on what uh, the family needed at the time. And then moving over to one of our other um, shelving units, this one is full of door handles, doorknobs, um, architectural fittings. So we have all of these wonderful um, historic doorknobs that have been removed from the house during various restorations or transformations that we've had. Um, lots of different styles from different areas of the house, all very well documented and recorded on our database so that we can keep track of where everything is. Oh, thank you so much, Matthew. <laughs> I must say, I really love that shelf. It reminds me a bit of a sweetie shop for some reason. Yeah. I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, it's a, it's a real treat. <laughs> um, and then just before we leave, I'm just going to give you another treat, which is just to see the view from this space, because we're on top of the hill at Wadston Manor. Um, and so out of the windows here, we're at the west end of the house. We have the most extraordinary view. So. That rather elaborate bit of architecture there is the, the top of the morning room, the pinnacles on the morning room. And then looking out beyond, you just see the woods which surround us, which are part of the grounds. And then this fantastic view out to Ashenden and then to Oxfordshire. So it really is a very special place. And this is somewhere the public normally never see. So it's lovely to be able to, to give you a glimpse of it um, on, in these rather extraordinary circumstances.